Hello, everyone. I'm the, I'm the teacher of English, Mikhailovskaya Nina Arkadyevna, and today we will talk uh, about determinants and predeterminants during our lesson. Look, please, at the presentation and uh, listen to me attentively. We are using the textbook Excel 9 by Express Publishing and um, this is module A, the name is Travel and Tourism and this is lesson 4. The theme of the lesson is Determinus and Predeterminus. The learning objective for this lesson you can see on the board and you can see also the assessment criteria. These are skills that you will have achieved at the end of the lesson. I believe that at the end of the lesson you will understand and you will learn grammar rules about determinants and predeterminants. You, uh, during the presentation, you will have an opportunity to practice the use of appropriate subject-specific vocabulary on this unit and also determinants in English syntax, uh, in the form of sentences, exercises or tests. And at the end of this presentation, you will have an opportunity to evaluate. If you were attentive, uh, have you had uh, particular skills in using determinants and predeterminants? So let's start, be attentive, and we will talk about determinants and predeterminants. Uh, the first uh, determinants that we are going to talk, uh, every and each. You can see that every and each are used with singular countable nouns. Singular countable nouns. We normally use each when we talk about two people or things. During the presentation, I think that you may mm, make notes to remember grammar rules. And again, pay attention that normally we use each for two people or things. We use each when we are thinking of people or things separately, one at a time. We use every when we talk about three or more people or things. We are, we are thinking of people or things together as a group, as all people in this group, everybody or thinking. We use every to show how often something happens. For example, every shop was decorated with flowers. It means that all shops, for example, in the street, maybe there are five shops, and all these shops, all fives, they were decorated with flowers. The next example, there is a train every 20 minutes. We have read that we can use every to show how often something happens. And in this sentence, there is a train every 20 minutes, we see the example of this rule. Yes, poised, каждые 20 минут. How often something happens. Then the example of each. Each child was given a prize. It means, you remember that we use each talking about two things or people. It means that there are two people two children, and every one of these two children uh, was given a prize. These are examples. On the left, there is a train every 20 minutes. Yes, boys, каждые 20 минут. He was holding an ice cream in each hand. Он держал мороженое в каждой руке. Each about two things in each hand. Every hand has an ice cream. On the right, every person was interested in the solution of the problem. You can see the group of people and every one of the group was interested in the solution of the problem. At the bottom of this slide, you can see the way on Google Disk where you can get additional information about each and every. We can also use these words, these determinants, or in the expressions with the preposition of, every one of, 
each one of. See the example. It was the twins' birthday yesterday. I gave a present to each one of them. Было день рождения у близнецов вчера. Я подарил подарок каждому из них. Remember that each we use for two people, for two twins. And that is why each is used in this situation. The next situation. Uh, I've seen all of the Mel Gibson's films and I liked every one of them. Mel Gibson directed a lot of films and uh, every one of this group of films uh, the person has seen. So the next, both. Both, um, oh, excuse me, we will return. Both, we refer to two people or uh, to two uh, things, uh, groups or uh, people. And we must remember that both is followed by plural verbs. Both men work at the bank. Оба мужчины работали в банке. Both for two people, men plural, and that is why the verb work is also plural. The next determiner is neither. You can see the translation. We can also use neither in the phrase with preposition of uh, plus plural noun. And also in the phrase neither nor in the meaning ni ni. Uh, neither also uh, refers to two people, things, groups, but pay attention with negative meaning. Neither of them are, is working at the moment. We can use uh, plural or singular verb. It means um, on the fact whom do you uh, understand under neither one person of the group or all people in the group, the whole group. Uh, the translation is никто из них не работает в данный момент. Вся группа не работает, все не работают, are working. Или один из всей группы не работает, подразумевается, is working. The next determiner is either. The first expression either or, или, или. Either in the meaning любой. Either in uh, the phrase either plus of plus plural noun. And either uh, refers to two people, things or groups. Pay attention, either is followed by singular countable noun and verb. Either, is, either. But in the expression either of, uh, this expression can be followed by singular or plural form. It also based on the fact, what do you mean? One of the group, of the whole, all members of the group. And the examples. Either of these two dresses suits suit you. Любой из этих двух платьев подходит к тебе. Все платья подходят, получается, тебе. Either color is fine. Любой цвет хороший. Here you can see three new determiners. The whole, весь целый. None of, никто is, and all. We use the whole with preposition, always the whole. And uh, pay attention, we don't use the whole with uncountable nouns. He was hungry, so he ate the whole pie. Он был голоден, поэтому он съел весь пирог. And the noun should be countable and singular next to the word whole. None of refers to more than two people, things or groups, and has a negative meaning, and is followed by either a singular or a plural verb. None of my friends has or have traveled abroad. Никто из моих друзей не путешествовал за границу. Если вы подразумеваете одного из всей группы, вы можете поставить глагол has. Ни один из них не путешествовал. Все в этой группе и ни один из них в целом как группа не путешествовали за границу. Я подчеркиваю, что ни один из групп. И беру глагол have во множественном числе. And all. The translation is все. I think that you remember it. 
it refers to more than to people, things, or groups. It has a positive meaning and is followed by a plural verb. The examples. All the actors were perfect. Все актеры были отличными. You may also uh, say this sentence in this way. All actors were perfect. There won't be a mistake. And the next example, all of them are well educated. Все из них хорошо образованы. Again, we can use the term all with preposition of and noun or pronoun. And at the bottom of the slide, you can see the ways again on Google Disk where you can get additional information on the topic of the theme. So about determinants. Uh, here you can see a short test. Uh, only four statements and I ask you to check your understanding of the theme of the lesson. I give you one minute. I think that you are ready. Now let's check. The first answer is C, A, C, A. If you answer correctly all questions, that is why you were very attentive and you understood the information that I have told you. And that is why your work is well done. If you have some mistakes, you have made some mistakes. I advise you to look through presentation again. And I also advise you, as I have said at the beginning of this presentation, uh, to make notes in your vocabulary grammar page, uh, to remember it and to recall it later. So here you can see uh, some ways on the Bilim land. KZ, where you can find additional information with tests, with practice. The first is определенные misdemeanor all every each. This is the name of this presentation. And the second is создание конструкции при помощи both either neither. I advise you to practice the use of these determiners in these presentations. Uh, I ask you to do exercises in our textbook. Excel 9, exercise 5, page 91, exercise 6 and 7. Why 2? Because 6 is uh, the explanation of the use and 7 is the practice. And exercise 9 at page 91. So at the top of this slide, you can see the reference to the determinist song. It will be relaxation for you and it will be fun. Thank you for attention. I'm sure that the information is easy for you to understand and you will practice it properly. Uh, if you have any mistakes, I will answer all of them. Thank you and goodbye.